Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the review of the Gista, that's G-E-E-S-T-A, Premium Crystal Glass Top Stove Top Espresso Mocha Pot, six cup coffee maker with durable food grade aluminum bottom and retro shape. Uh, let's see, it's $28.99. And slow down and savor the moment as you watch your favorite mocha expressed coffee brew to perfection through the crystal clear glass mocha pot top and matching lid. It has a safe handle, uh, faster he heating, premium uh, food grade aluminum is non-toxic and rust proof. And convenient size, once the smooth glass pot is full of steaming perfectly brewed coffee, it's time to savor. Pour two ounce cups and celebrate with friends perfect gift so yeah the company sent this over to me so i really appreciate that i'm going to test this out see if it actually works they have a video on amazon which is really cool it's very artistic looking um it looks almost like an apple ad you know like an iphone ad uh but in this case it's a coffee but it's a very uh interesting concept and i hope i can capture this and make it as look as good as it did in the video that i saw on amazon demonstrating this thing so uh, let's see here. Do not reassemble the product until all parts are completely dry to avoid oxidation. Do not use soap or detergent, which will damage the metallic uh, basis parts. Do not use dishwasher. Never use the pot with, without water. Fill the lower chamber with cold water just below the valve. And yeah, so let's open up, see what's inside here. User manual. Top piece of styrofoam. And here is the Gista pot or Gista. All right. And yeah, look at this thing. Glass. This is the aluminum base. This unscrews, and so I'm assuming, I'll read the directions, but I'm assuming you put the water here, this on top, you put the coffee in here, screw this on, and I'm not going to give it away, but you'll see what happens. I'm going to do a close-up as it's cooking, and it looks really cool if I can make capture it as well as they did. And then you have the little top part, it goes on like so. And look at that. So you fill with lower chamber, uh, let's see, just below the valve it says. Okay, so did that. Then insert the funnel, fill it with ground espresso. It says do not tamp down. Okay, that looks good. Tightly screw on the upper part. And it says select the burner size once I put this on the stove. Stove uh, select burner size to fit bottom of the pot for gas stove top. Make sure the flame is not larger than the bottom of the pot. All right, so here we go. Hopefully this works. Okay, it's gonna take a while, but smaller burner was gonna help. All right, so we're gonna put the lid on here, and I'm just gonna let it film so you can see the full effect. Look at that! Look at that! So the coffee comes up.
just like so, you're making coffee. So it looked exactly like the review video that I saw. Or the company review video. Alright. When the so let's see here. Water comes to the boil. Gurgling sound. When the top of the pot is full of copy remove from stove, hazel brown foam appears just seconds before the coffee is completely done. Alright, so I'm lifting it up by the handle and it's not hot at all, which is nice. Okay, so here we go. Let's test out the Gista Mocha Pot. And here we go, pouring it. Still hot. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's a good cup of coffee. It's on the stronger side, definitely. As opposed to the drip coffee machine that I normally use, so a little bit stronger, but very delicious, flavorful. So I'd say that was a uh, success. All right, so do I recommend the Gista Mocha Pot? The answer is yes. Uh, this is a well-made product, a quality product. Um, I do not think you'll be disappointed with this thing. It looks cool as it's brewing, and most importantly, it makes a decent cup of coffee. So thanks for watching my review, everyone. Uh, if you like them, if you like the reviews, continue watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.